whilst many of the world's truck manufacturers are still looking at their offering, electric offering at 7.5 tonnes, and let's face it, any weight sector at the moment, the Fuso e Canter is not only being developed, it's actually been out operating with customers for literally years and all around the world. So, if you're in the market for an electric 7.5 tonner that's raring to go, what do you get? And more importantly, is it a credible alternative to diesel? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Welcome to our look at the Fuso e Canter. Now, many of you might think, well, what is a Fuso e Canter? Well, first of all, it's made by Daimler, obviously one of the biggest manufacturers of trucks in the world. More importantly, and this might surprise you, this is the best selling model in the world. Full stop, Canter is the one. Now, you might, people might think it's not Actros, it's not a Teagle, this is the one. Now, the big thing about this one is it's very lightweight. It's perfect for taking an electric chassis as well. Give, for, for instance, first of all, plated weight here at the front, 3,100 kilograms. At the rear, 5,540 kilograms. Now, more importantly, payload wise, we're talking about a body and payload allowance of 4,200 kilograms. That translates to this vehicle here, bodied, ready, on the road, carrying a payload of over three tonnes, 3,200 kilograms. That's electric as well. Perfect vehicle for urban delivery. Right, let's have a look at the technical side of the encounter. First of all, let's have a look at the motor. We're talking about 182 brake horsepower, which equates to 136 kilowatts of power. And torque-wise, it develops 390 newton meters. Again, well on par with the diesel. Now, battery-wise, typical Daimler. It's a modular design. We've got six modules. Each of them have got 13.8 kilowatt hours of energy. Combined, gives you 82.8 kilowatt hours of energy. But not all of that is usable. We need that for the ECUs, things like that. So actual usable energy is 66 kilowatt hours of energy. That means this vehicle at 7.5 tonnes can do around about 100 kilometres of range. So we've had a look at the batteries. Now, how the heck do you charge them? Well, first of all, quite simple. It's a CCS Type 2 connection to a rapid charger, 50 kilowatts. We're talking around about an hour from 0 to 80% and up to 100% an hour and a half. And then with a slower charger around about the 30 amp, we're talking about 11 hours for a full charge, 0 to 100. More than necessary and a really practical way. If you think about it, I mean, if you're doing it to a rapid charger, 50 kilowatts, you're going to get it done in an hour to 80%. That's a practical way. And more importantly, that gives you another 100 kilometers to go. Okay, that's enough of the technical stuff. Let's go and take it out on the road. We're in the vehicle now, and the first thing we do is obviously power her up. Uh, it's a simple case of putting the keys in and pressing start. We then get a, a ready sign that's on there flashing, telling me we're ready. And then we've got a part, reverse, neutral and drive. So it's just like an automatic, to be honest. Put that into, part, uh, into drive, handbrakes by the side of me, and then looking left to right, let's start off. So, first thing you notice, obviously, it's deadly quiet, which you would expect from an electric vehicle, but it's got a fast uptake as well. Um, and uh, although we've got, we haven't got a lot on in the back, we haven't, certainly haven't got up to full payload, uh, it's still nice and sprightly off there. On the dashboard itself, I've got uh, a, two dials. Um, left hand dial tells me my speed, uh, and what the state of the battery is in terms of uh, how full it is and then on the right hand side it tells me the input and output into the battery so I've got regen I've got two levels of regen um, the second level I can activate by um, the exhaust what was the exhaust brake if you were a diesel vehicle uh, to the second level and then I've got an eco mode as well so I'm trying to keep it into the eco mode i have got a little LCD screen as well um, that I can watch that gives me an idea of what I'm using, input and output. Driving's concerned, you've really got to give it to Canter. Canter is made for urban delivery. You sit very low down, uh, which is a great comfort uh, when you're in an urban environment because you need to know, it to, for visual, you definitely need to have a good look round uh, and that's very nice indeed. The cab, you've got a dual passenger seat, which is standard, and you've got an armrest here, and it's very, very comfortable. More importantly, it's very, very quiet indeed. It's great for urban because you've only got one step into it, 
So again, getting in and out, this is the this is the life that an e-counter will live in. It will live in the city. It's made for deliveries. You're getting up and out. You're not having two or three steps to get to. This is very much an urban delivery electric vehicle. And that's exactly what this does. So, and it's been proven. That's a good thing about it. I mean, you're talking literally, it's got millions of miles behind it in development and in actual use as well. So visually uh, and visibility wise, a nice big uh, uh, mirrors, rear view mirrors on here as well. It's very quiet. You've got climate control in here. Uh, you've got a nice uh, LCD screen as well that's got the Bluetooth and all the number infotainment systems that we normally were used to. But yeah, nice cab environment. If I look at it now, I'm doing uh, just over, I mean, the uptake is unbelievable. We're getting a nice 30 miles an hour. We're, I'm in the eco zone. So again, I'm not, not taking too much out of the battery. And then if I, put the regen on the second level of regen I've stopped literally within and in fact I'm just going to make it stop I've gone literally no more than 50 meters and I've virtually stopped without using the service brake exactly what you want so again low operating cost helps with the repair and maintenance and you're not using the disc brakes and again saving you money which is important when you're driving a truck okay that's uh, enough of the driving i think uh, i think it's about time i return to base after i'll probably have a another dabble i'll tell you what i do like the regen you can tell a hell of a difference on this vehicle with one level regen i'll be driving it in the city because don't forget when i'm doing the regen i'm actually putting energy back into the battery so when we say 62 miles what you can do if you do it correctly in the city you can actually gain mileage as well and that's a perfect environment for this sort of truck anyway i'm enjoying myself too much but i need to go back and uh we'll get back to base thanks for watching one thing i have noticed definitely is the turning circle on this vehicle again if you're looking in the urban deliveries i mean you compare this with a traditional seven and a half tonner i'm literally turning on a sixpence with this vehicle i mean it's like a london taxi <laughs> yeah without the fur, fur at the back well, when you look at it, this e-canter makes sense in so many different areas, particularly in three areas as far as I'm concerned. First of all, if you're making urban deliveries, particularly in places like Bristol, Birmingham, London, and your clean air zones, then it makes a lot of sense. Secondly, when it comes to fueling, this vehicle can literally save you thousands in fuel alone between the diesel equivalent. And last but not least, it carries 3.2 tonnes, yeah, even with the body. Think about that. That's equivalent to two or three electric vans as well. So again, it can help reduce uh, congestion in an urban environment. Exactly what we want. Zero emission, less congestion. It certainly makes sense for me. Thanks very much for watching our e-canter road test. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye bye.